Andre Sr., thank you for joining us. Well, the president of Israel, Isaac Herzog, apologized during the funeral of Hirsch Goldberg Poland today. The 23-year-old who grew up in Berkeley was taken hostage by Hamas last year. He was among the six captives murdered by Hamas over the weekend. The Israeli president said the state failed to protect him during the October 7th attack. KTV's Amanda Quintana has a look at the ceremony in Israel and heartbreaking eulogy from his parents. <laughs> Thousands of mourners gathered in Jerusalem for the funeral of Hirsch Goldberg Polin. The 23-year-old had become one of the most recognizable faces of the devastating hostage crisis taken by Hamas while attending a music festival on October 7th. For 23 years, I was privileged to have the most stunning honor to be Hirsch's mama. I'll take it and say thank you. I just wish it had been for longer. For 330 days, his parents fought to get a ceasefire deal, even working with President Biden and Vice President Harris and speaking at the United Nations and DNC. But his body was found this weekend, killed along with five others. If there was something we could have done to save you and we didn't think of it, I beg your forgiveness. We tried so very hard, so deeply and desperately. I'm sorry. Hirsch's father spoke of his childhood in the Bay Area, growing up as a curious, intelligent little boy. I knew that as we walked hand in hand to get my Sunday morning coffee in Berkeley, I'd better be ready for some challenging questions from a three and a half year old Hirsch. Now he has become a global symbol for peace. His parents hoping his death is now the fuel needed to help return the remaining 101 hostages. Hirsch, we failed you. We all failed you. You would not have failed you. You would have pushed harder for justice. You would have worked to understand the other, to bridge differences. You would have challenged more people to challenge their own thinking. Vigils are happening all over the world for Hirsch. There was one last night in Berkeley at the synagogue where his family used to worship. Another vigil is planned here at this synagogue in the Richmond district tonight at 6 to honor Hirsch and also call for the release of all of the remaining hostages. In San Francisco, Amanda Quintana, KTVU, Fox 2 News. President Biden released a statement about Goldberg Poland's death, reading in part, quote, I am devastated and outraged. He had just turned 23. He planned to travel the world. I've got to know his parents, John and Rachel. They have been courageous, wise, and steadfast, even as they have endured the unimaginable. Make no mistake, Hamas leaders will pay for these crimes, and we will keep working around the clock for a deal to secure the release of the remaining hostages, end quote. Anger over the deaths of the hostages prompted thousands of workers in Tel Aviv to walk off the job. The participants are from Israel's main labor union and the work stoppage temporarily affected airports, public transit, schools and several other sectors. They hope to put pressure on the Israeli government to make a ceasefire deal with Hamas to free hostages and end the war. But they were forced to call it off after the court ordered organizers to stop the demonstration.